everyone welcome back so i decided to go ahead and show you guys me um putting this book together the cover together at first i was going to do the whole process of it which i have done on the video before but we learn things and we get faster but anyway i thought i wanted to do something quick and easy and less expensive and the uh least expensive way for me to do that and easiest way to do that is to use a Dollar Tree book. The books, of course, are a dollar. And so um, this is the one I'm going to use. I know everybody has different stuff at your Dollar Trees, but sometimes they have the same stuff. This is the book that I'm going to use. And I'm saying that in case you would want to, once I'm finished, you would like, you know, to get something with a similar size. And so um, that's what I'm showing you. Now... The book itself is about nine and a half by six and a quarter with a one inch spine. So I'm going to remove the cover, of course. And I don't know. Well, that's kind of. I'm thinking about using that. Of course, we can use this. Okay, you guys, all I can say is, wow. Um, and I almost did it again. So I thought I was recording. And apparently, I just pushed, well, I know that I did. I, you know, you when you push the center of your screen to center it on the object that's um, that you're videoing or taking a picture on. So I did that and then forgot to push the record button. Anyway, um, I'm still... <laughs> What I'm still going to do, however, is, or what I've already done, I liked what I've done here enough, and for the sake of showing you guys so it's not uh, that big of a deal, I went ahead and made another cover. So, here's my second cover, and I love, now I want to make sure I'm recording yes i'm recording because i do not know if i would like to have to do this all over again yet again okay so i like when you buy these this is a they were the same book i don't even know if i have another one of those i have one that's a little bit bigger but anyway so they they have a flat spine so when you take the text block and all that good stuff out and you do this it gives it a nice curve once you go to fold your um journal in so I'm hoping that it will hold that. I can't remember if it does or not when I go in to put my signatures in, and it should. So anyway, I do like that nice little fold, but I don't want to take too long. I do want to, um, I'm going to repeat pretty much everything that I've done already, hopefully. Um, if I don't get the same exact thing, of course not, it's handmade. So we're going to try and repeat this. Now this is the other half of the file folder from this one. That's the other half of it. However, I'm not sure that I want to use this on the cover because that's kind of, it doesn't have enough going on. Even if this is just an envelope, even if, let's say I, I mean, it would, that would work. Yeah. But I like this butterfly here. So that's what I want to work with. I do have another one of, the file folders let me show you guys so i got these years ago i think i was watching i think it was either paula lemon or, oh gosh she does some she has done some beautiful um jane austen journals and that's i can't even think i'll pu put it up there because she's they're both awesome but anyway um at tuesday morning and they were so beautiful but that's what they are so, I'm going to pull it out. I'm not sure if I'm going to actually use that again, but I like this butterfly here. See, there, there she is. Now, what I'm thinking is, which is the problem, I have the same butterfly repeated here, right, on the back of the file folder. So, if I were to, let's just do it. Let me go ahead and 
cut this to where it should be. Let's see, let's measure it up the same. There. And that's gonna be hidden because it's kind of in that area to where you can't really see, but I think that goes right there. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that. See how it does my butterfly? Okay, okay. so here we go, <laughs> you guys. Um, and I'm not gonna come in on the other side. That's an option, but I, I like this configuration. So if I did it like this, I like it, I like it. I think I like it more. So this is a good thing. I'm gonna cut that off, that butterfly there on that angle. But it just is what it is. Now I can come in with anything and cover that up because that was what was throwing me off, this little um, barcode. But I like that, I really do. Okay, enough of that, I like it, blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay so let's get down to trying to mimic what I've done here. Set this to the side and prep this one. Put that together while I was, but I have other stuff to do and I also have to get supper here together in a little bit. So if I don't finish, we'll just come back. Okay, now, so I have some of this steel. Of course, you guys saw how much I had left. And I'm going to use it as a hinge piece. Now, all this stuff over here is getting crazy. So, I'm going to tear that about there. And all of these strings are starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> but I don't want to fool with them until they're done. Mm -hmm. So this is my hinge piece that I'm going to attach to the cover. The cover or the file folder. And I need to grab another file folder. I'll print it out some copies. This is the one that I use. Let's check and make for sure. Okay. Now I'm gonna put you guys on pause or cut this part out so I don't have to show you everything that I'm doing here. I don't wanna go directly halfway, but I wanna get a halfway point, so I'll do that. Let's just eyeball it. this 
to be used for later. Okay, so what I'm going to do is measure the way that I measure. I told you guys, or was it the first video? <laughs> I don't know. But this is how I measure. Let's get a little bit closer than that, should we? Okay, so that's how I measure. It's more foolproof than dealing with numbers. Yeah, let's give it a long strip. So this is going to go like this. Okay, so this is going to go on the front. And what I'm going to do is for the inside, I'm going to use, oh my gosh. There's somewhere. These are um, tailor-made journals, digitals. I'm, I'm planning on using these. That's why I printed some of them out. Um, and that's graphic story. Hold on, this is ridiculous. Where is okay, this is the one that I'm going to use. Let's get this out of the way. So, my idea is I'm going to cover this with either some acetate, have like an acetate pocket or a vellum pocket. And then we're gonna stuff um, some ephemera in there. So I'm gonna rush through all of that, and then I'll be back. So this is how this is going to be on the inside. I'm going to come back and do this later because I haven't even done it in the original journal either as of yet. So I'm gonna come back to that. Let's just keep that in there. Let's glue this part down. I have been watching Clara's YouTube channel love 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 her journals very inspiring um and she has a video where she does um the flip through asmir or asmr the sounds that are just very relaxing Anyway, those kinds of sounds. Now, I don't have to worry about the inside pieces anymore, but this is going to hook on like so. And then this piece is going to connect. No, that'll come up some, that's gotta come up some. And this piece will go behind. And 
that's what we'll have. So now let's work on this envelope. So I got a phone call that I had to take. So all these interruptions and issues, I'm um, thinking I should have just waited till tomorrow to start this, but I'm done now and I'm going to push on. So I was trying to work, but my desk was a little bit distracting. So I just threw this, all the little leftovers into this file folder and I'm gonna get them out of my way once the big truck can move right along. And that will kind of help out with clutter and stuff on my desk as I'm trying to do whatever it is I'm trying to do here. Okay, so I did go ahead and ink around all of this stuff. And I'm going to use like I did in the last one. Nope. Okay. I want to set it to the side for now. Just push it under there. So I'm going to collage this pocket here. If I can figure out. So I just have um, some old music papers. And I like how small this one is. See how... Um, one, two, three, four, five. If there's five, I should use it just because of that right there, but I'm not. I like the smaller ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll go with, I hate to grab that piece of it. And this is partly why I am such, um, a slow crafter because I overthink stuff. I don't want to say I overthink it, which basically that's what it is. It's overthinking. Um, if you want to go in and use your cutter, let's just call it a cutter, basically it's what it is, um, your razor on this, um, you know, trying to cut your paper, you mess this edge up here and then your, your lines aren't going to be straight. So I did that one to this one to the extent to where then I just got a lighter and I melted along this whole edge here. Um, sad that it had to be a Tim Holtz roller, but it is what it is. Um, I had three, my daughter tore up one, and this is the other one. So I'm gonna use that to cut. I'm getting interrupted again. Is this for real? Hello? Hello. Okay, I've gotta go. That's my little boy, hold on. Yes, sir. I love you too. You just want to give mama some love? You okay? Yes. Give me a kissy. Kissy, kissy. Mm -hmm. Come on, hang on the tablet. I hate that when it doesn't cut all the way at the end. I don't want my stuff to be different sizes. I'll throw that piece away. This piece I'm going to keep. I'll use that. Set it up there. And let's just measure out. So once I've collected all this paper, I'll put it away as well. Just go from the bottom.
I have a lot of crafty videos to catch up on. I've seen a lot of nice um, journals come through my feed. And I'm kind of excited to be able to sit down and get inspired because just watching someone else create something beautiful inspires me to create something beautiful. And this is why um, it's also why I do not like watching sharing sometimes um, until I'm through with whatever I'm working on because that woman will have me wanting to do something completely different. Um, I was watching uh, Tanya as well. She's just done something that was um, a journal that was very grungy and I love it. And I have to be careful because I want to do something completely different from what I'm working on. And if I do that in the middle of um, a project, you'll have, and I, you can rock that. You can rock anything. Um, you'll have two different looks going on or two different styles going on in your journals. And there's nothing wrong with that either. And this may be a little grungy to some people, but I mean, like, seriously. But anyway, so we are going to... So, let's just get one of these. Let's just grab another copy. Much Ado About Nothing. And this is just one of the Shakespeare... Um, plays book. Exacto knife. That's what this is. <laughs> no, this is um, a razor, but same concept as exacto knives, or what we call them. So I'm just gonna rip up some paper and keep in my scraps. Now, I didn't use that. I didn't cut that one straight. So, let's see. Can we do this one kind of straight? Because I do want a straight. And that's straight enough. Cut some pieces of it off. I should have cut that edge off first. So. Let's just see what we got going on now. I'm tired of using that ruler. So even these little pieces, this I'll throw away. But I can use those little pieces like that. So I also used this page because that's going to be my main focal point. Could I do that flower? I don't think, I think that butterfly's gonna crash. So let's kind of just keep with what we've got going on here. Set this piece to the side. I'm recording and I am so 
So if I hold this firm on each side, then that paper will not come up. Just gonna tear some pieces. I like to line them up to see how I want everything to stand out. Okay, so this one can probably go up here. I would like to bring some of that green in. So maybe I'll put it, put that one there. Do that. I think that's almost similar because I'm going to be cutting this part out. So let's just do it. So the time I have for crafting, like right now they're outside playing. While my daughter's out there watching them going too fast or sticking too fast is either early in the morning or late at night and preferably I like to craft early in the morning three four o'clock a.m. <laughs> versus So I'll put that about there. Well, that didn't make any sense. Um, because if I'm staying up to three or four in the morning, that's not cool. And sometimes I do, I can't sleep. And so that's what happens. But I prefer to be able to get a good night's rest and wake up around three and then get up and craft. Now I'm doing this in when it's supposed to be that side soon. Um, versus, like I said, staying up that late and then crafting. That's a little bit different, but of course we figured that. Because the house, that's when the house is going to be the quietest. Okay, because that's what I'm going to cut out. And I keep doing that, and I end up making that crooked a little bit. It's stuck down now. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and cut this part off. I just need enough to hinge, and then I'll keep that because that's a pocket I can use somewhere. Now I need to go ahead and collage the back side. Looks like that's gonna give me enough room. No, it's not. No, that's not. And that's just the way that I have to do it.
So when I'm done using my glue, and I go to stick my pen back in, it does help. Now I can't find the piece. It does help to have the little cap that I keep on there. It does help to keep the glue from drying out at the top. So when I'm not using the pen, I like to at least stick this over the top of it still. And that's just the cap that um, the little cylinder piece, the little tube is just a um, tube that the pen, the galvanized pens come in. I'm gonna do the same thing on the back. I did, I think I used, yeah, I think I did. I used some of my, one of these, it was, and there I knew I had that page and there it is. One of my um, script pages, I think I did, I think I did. Now I'm going to let this dry because I am going to use this oval die cut to cut this out. If you don't have any die cuts, you can just um, use a square, something that's square, and use your X-Acto knife or rectangular, and use your X-Acto knife to cut that shape out. So while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to try and find the file folder that I had. No, I didn't use a file folder. I used this. Let's see if that'll be. That might work. So I'm just gonna fold this leftover piece in half.
here. You know what I didn't do? <laughs> I have to cut along this edge. I didn't do that yet. I'm just gonna cut a sliver off. Just a sliver. Now I have to go and re-ink my edges. Not too bad. I want to make sure that that's going to fit. When that's closed, that that will fit inside, and it will. Okay. So I'll have to wait till this is good and dry. I'll go ahead and start inking this up. I wanna make sure that this one is good and dry so that it doesn't fuse it together. But if it does fuse it together, that wouldn't be a bad thing. This one was fused together and it made, it a, made a nice thick piece that I can use as ephemera. So when you're doing your journaling, you could put um, some plain paper over there, some plain coffee dot paper, whatever you want to put over and use it as journaling, or you can attach your picture to that. Well, that's the embossing part. You can attach your picture to that. So when... Um, I'm crafting and I want to do some of those videos since even more so now um, I'm doing two of these journals and then I'm gonna make um, a couple of big writing journals um, I know that I have to make one for me um, kind of sort of like a planner anyway is um, Yvonne Preston is a big inspiration I like the way that she sets her stuff up. Um. Uh-oh. And I learned early on from her and Crafty Arena about setting your stuff up. You know, making um, mass amounts of stuff that you can have. Um to use for later sometimes I don't I usually don't because I'll make so much stuff and then I won't use it and those are best if you have multiple journals and the same theme to work on but um, usually you should try and do it in a neutral theme so that you can just use it throughout um, Shabby Tina from Shabby Debbie Duda is also very good at mass making stuff now I'm just trying to see what I can do as I wait, which I will probably take a break, and I'll get back to you guys in a little while. Well, I've waited long enough. Um, this is not completely dry, but um, in the meantime, I went ahead and sewed around this part of the interactive piece. <laughs> is about all I can call it right now. So that goes in there like that. So what I need to do now is, this is what's going to go inside of it. So let me get that out of the way. And that is very wet, so that is going to fuse those together. Yes, it is. So I'm gonna take some, try and center that. I wasn't going to do it again this time, so let's just do this piece then. And I better make sure that I'm recording. Hold on. Yes, we're recording. So this washi tape is going to, well, it did last time, stick, and I'm okay with that because it just adds to the journal. 
on the next page like that. That's what we'll do. And to break it. I just did that. So let's cut this out. Now I have a vagabond, which is worth every penny because you don't have to do it's situated this way right yeah that way you don't have to do the crank now that's going to get in the way so I'm going to set this in well It is magnetized, those of you who have these. Let's try this way. And yes, my plates are, <laughs> they are well used. So even after me running it, um, running this through the die cut a few times, I still have this area right here. But it actually did this one better than it did that one because I had to cut quite a bit more, which is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can. And I didn't want, yeah, there we go. And this is the piece that I need to cut right there. So anyway, I'm just playing around and I'm recording. So like I said, you can still use this piece, so don't throw it away. Now I need to make sure that everything didn't get closed up in here like this because the glue remember the glue wasn't dry when we went in with the die cut piece uh, die cut so whatever liquid uh, glue you had it closed those together so now I have to go back through and do this because someone was impatient and did not want to wait until it was completely dry so it's fine. I got a little tearing here and there, but nothing that a little glue cannot fix. And I had it, I didn't close it up, you guys. Ah, see, the top is still over there. Okay, so the reason that I did that was once this is once this is behind say we're going to do it like this, right? And this part will show. Once we put this behind there you're going to make sure I'm in frame you're going to be able to see that little bit so that's why I added this piece in here because 
I didn't want to have it plain because it's going to go like this. Okay, something like that. And then you'll get that view there. So now what I need to do is make sure I'm going to hold this like this and make sure that it fits in again. Now that's going to fit in there nicely. So what I can do now is if I'm going to have a pull here for this piece, which I am, just a pull tab. Where's my tab punch? Um, here. This one, what is that one? Okay, so I need to cut out a piece. What am I going to use? Well, there will be... I'm thinking I want to use green. Is that going to be a bit much? Where's my green? So, this paper is not printed out on the heavier 32 pound. This one feels like it is the 28 pound paper. Um, so, I'm gonna go right there. To strengthen that, I'm going to use, what should I use? Something that I already have for sure. Will that make it sturdy enough? Because you're gonna be pulling on that quite a bit. Let's just grab a trusted file folder. Put that up, we don't need that for a minute. I'm going to glue this one to that piece. And here we want full coverage, especially on those edges, if I haven't just wiped it all away. Yes. Y O U T? Nope. Oh. Tube. Ooh. What? Which letters make the ooh sound? L. Two, oh. two I, O's are the know. short U. I know. That's what I was trying to say. So, that's what I did. Y O U T? I, ooh. Y. O-U-T-T-U-B-B-E. -T -T yes. I'm just going to center that as much as I possible. And I'm not going to bend it yet because it's still drying. In the meantime, I've got to figure out if I want to do the same one as in this one. That same one or
let's just do we're gonna stick with this one i tried to be a little bit different but i'm just i don't know man now i'm like i don't know man i don't know man yeah i'm gonna stick with it folks Check it to see how I need to adjust it. I like it right there. So I'm going to pull this thing out but I'm going to keep them together and this is okay now I don't want to cut I don't want to um, cut that butterfly off like that And hopefully, you now I can stick some glue there and that'll hold that. You know what? We're gonna do that. Even though I should use the, um, what glue is that? The, the fast drying glue, you know, the art glitter glue, yeah. I'm just trying to hold this here because I forgot to do this. Let's just see. Yeah, we're gonna go with that because. Now did that come up some or did it hold its position? Let's adjust it a little bit. Recheck it. And that's fine. So now we'll glue the rest of it. gonna bring in a little more of this green by just grabbing a strip here whoa let's try and turn it around <laughs> I don't need a bunch, I just need a little bit.
and I don't want to cut this piece off till later. But what I'm going to do is keep this over here so that I don't lose that. So I need to make myself an ephemera folder like I've seen um, some of you guys do. But till then, I just keep all of my bits in these envelopes. Okay, I have these bits, and then when I was doing all of the um, buying, when I was buying the labels from um, 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 Tracy Fox journals, I made these little things to go to house all of them. Okay, and I usually get one with both sides or the ones that I liked. And this is the one, just using paper and bits to hold them. And it has two sides. And so that's the one that I liked because I utilized two pockets instead of just the one. But anyway, so I have those and I need to come up with a like I said, something to house them in an ephemera folder. So let's grab something here. That's going to be too big. Oh, and that would have been, per hold on. That will be perfect, but will it show? Uh, this one says, spring is a time to start afresh, out with the old and end with the new. We all know that saying. What will that look like through that window? Can I go there? I'm not necessarily sure about that. Well, that one says spring 2021. I like that. That's the good, that's a perfect size right there. Spring, the season of new beginnings. I like this one as well, but maybe I'll put that one on the outside. There. So let's do that. What did I want it? Somewhere around in there. really necessarily want to I lost my train of thought and I'm not done with this pocket you guys because it has to okay now I'll take it out where's my little dauber okay something simple we'll do that worry about that I can also come in here with a butterfly and I think I'll probably do that, but I want to at least um, finish this. And what I'm putting is, <laughs> what I'm going to put in here is some lightweight. You could, let's see how that would look. Would that cover it up too much? I used some light acetate in the other one. Let's see how this one would look with the frosted vellum. Well, if I can get my thing in the pocket. You'd have that. And I love that too, guys. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh, we might have a problem. Yeah, we might have a problem because I kind of like that. Let's see. Let's see here. We'll have this one. It'll be like that. I'll put something there as well. 
something, something. I don't know if I'll put the same thing or no. Something to make it pop, stand out. Well, butterfly kisses. That'll kind of bring this color here in. I'll do something. And this one will go something like this. I like that. I like that it's different too, guys. And this will be out of the way, so it won't have all that hanging up into the butterfly. It'll be folded, of course. And I don't have a piece on that one. I like it. I'm going to do it. Let's go for it. Okay. Now I just need to get it in there. It'll be funny. I did all that and I have to cut a whole new piece. Where is my extra? It's back there. And you know, I'm not sure if this is actually... Okay, so these are the really, really uh, pretty thick acetate versus the little small ones that just comes with a little bitty thin sheet like that to separate them. And that's the kind that I would use. But when I made the cover, um, for the, what was the name of that journal? The name, the journal that Anna got with the see-through cover. You use this one, and this one has a film that you peel back on both sides. Anyway, randomness, randomness, randomness. My goodness. So let's just get this glued down. I'm going to do this side first. And I'm going to glue around the oval close to the edge. And I should have glued that piece first, you know what? Because I don't want those touching while I'm gluing the vellum piece. So, what? Well, that'll be fine. Now. Just going to situate that to where everything is going to be covered. Oh, without messing up the glue. Let's dot that and push it that way. Push it that way. Push outward because if you push in, and you're definitely going to have that glue running to the inside. So let's push from that circle out. And I'm making a mess here as usual. And then I'll go like this. Making sure that everything is down. And remove the excess from where you glue the outer edges. Oh, and that went in so crooked, you guys. But it covered all the areas I needed it to. So I won't complain. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm going to... Now should I also do the back like that or do acetate on the back? What do you think? I think, and I haven't done that yet, of course. I think I'll do acetate on the back just to be different. Just so that it's not same samey. Now... I'm not a straight cutter. So you know what? I was gonna try to attempt it, but let's not. Oh, messing up my paper. Now the problem with doing it this way, sometimes you can't see the lines that you did, that you just made. So don't lose it. Okay. Still recording. 
I'm just gonna measure it just to be on the safe side. And here, I don't really necessarily care if I'm not exactly straight, but I wanna cut a little bit off this edge. And I'm gonna go ahead and, and I didn't cut out any of my blank labels. I probably shouldn't see how that will look. But let's go ahead and But not too bad. Okay, so it's going to go on the page like so, on the book. Oh, I love that frosted look. Yum, yum, yummy. It's going to go in like so. I'm gonna have that. Um, what did we say was gonna go here? Flowers are the new bling of spring. That would be nice to put right there. I can put that on one. And I can put, where did you go? Okay, spring is a time to start afresh. Okay, out with the old and with the new. Yes, I love it, love it, love it. Oh my goodness, I'm getting excited. <laughs> which is not good. I'm going to have to tamp myself down here because as you guys see, these um, these books are small, okay? So, and they're the biggest ones, almost the biggest ones. I have one that's a little bit bigger. Uh, but they look bigger, and then when you go and um, start making your journal out of them, or like I've done there, I don't know, does the curve take away from the um, the width a little bit? But anywho, so I can't go too crazy. I've got to um, keep myself in check. But I'm just going to put that right there. And I love it. And you know what, guys? I finally got around to doing some of these. Yay. So I don't know if I have any. I'll probably have to go cut a lot more out. So I love that, OMG. So I'm getting excited. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm turned away here because I have these all at the back. I mean, on this table behind me. So what I want to do is play around with something here. And I pulled out colors that would be kind of neutral. So, um, so I'll probably, this cream would be okay, but what I'll probably do is like my, these pages here, I'm gonna go back in and print some of these out so I don't have to worry about these colors that won't um, go with the kit. But look, I could have put one of these there and it's, I still can, I think. Let's see. Good, well, it's, nope, it's not completely dry. I can put one there. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so pretty. <laughs> and then this one can wait because I wanna add in probably some of that green. And yeah, so that will wait. Let's just do this, because I'm not sure I can go back and glue that down. But for now, you guys, um, and this one goes with that book. So let me show you what I've got going on here. Okay, so this is going to be on the cover. This is how this is going to play out here. And I think I may not be done, but um, it's a good possibility that I am. Well, I know that I'm not done. You know what I mean, adding stuff to it. So this is going to be like this, right? And then this is going to close over just like in the other one. Okay, that's gonna stick up like that and I'll add in some butterflies 
I've got that saying. I wonder, and I've got these right here. I didn't even expect to use them. There it is. It was on the others. You know what? See, when stuff like that happens, um, maybe I wasn't supposed to use it because it was right there to the left of me. But I have these, and now I'm wondering if that'll fit. Dang it, it doesn't fit. Oh my gosh, I'm a little upset now. That spring one would have gone perfectly. That would have been perfect. Oh man. Well, you know, it just is what it is. I don't think I have, um, I do have some bigger ones. You guys. Okay, so let me finish this video because this has been way too long. You've seen what I've got going on. So all I'm going to do is I have the other one is using the green um, so let's see what I want to use another color so I just took some seam binding that I dyed with I told you guys acrylic paint right I just took that acrylic paint um, this is probably probably a better, um, you know, just get a bigger thing if you plan on doing a lot of springy kind of things or not. So this flower here is going to be down to the page. So I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to make sure I leave that open though. That's going to be down to the page. So it's going to, this is going to be the closure and it's going to be removable. I thought about gluing it down and I don't think I'm gonna glue that down. So this is what we're gonna do here. I'm going to um, situate this to where the bow is on this side because when I did the other journal I wanted to um, have some dangly pieces either coming off the ends or here. Somewhere there's going to be some something dangly on there. And that is going to be the cover. Now I have to go and we've got to get supper started. But there you have it, you guys. And I'm loving it so far. I hope you guys are loving it too. I hope you are. Let's pull that down some. So there will be two of them. Yes, yes, yes. And it's not done, but for now, it is. I'm going to bring them both into view. And I'm thinking, I'm looking at that, and I may um, change the color of the ribbon. I may do, I don't know, I may. What do you guys think? Should I leave the ribbon? I know that I like it on this one, on this one. So let's remove it here. Maybe I'll just do cream because I'm really loving that. But let's do the green one here. And this will be good because you guys can give me your input. I like it here on this one. Okay, but no, I just found some, uh, where is that? The seam binding, I was showing you guys here. I had lost some in, the, there it is. Should I do the cream or is that gonna match too much? Okay, oh, I love that though. I could do the cream. I also dyed some this color, but I can, okay. What do you guys think? I just did a little bit of this to go in with some of the darker pages. That I've made with um, yeah. Anyway, just some of that. So, I've got a ton of those pages. That's why I was doing that. 
so what do you guys think and here's another one that i came up with so which one there's this one it's kind of got some hints of this dark dark actually it's dark purple and then light purple and some hints of green then this one is all that dark purple can we even call that anymore it's almost like i want to say a midnight color i do have no there's no purple at all on that part or the cream what do you guys think man let's just see and this one i used the vanilla on the seam binding so it's smelling pretty delicious Deliciosos. Deliciosos. I love that crinkle on there, so let's just put that there. And I probably will cut this out of the video, but I may not. Because I do want you guys' opinion. So let's see. That's going to go there. It will also be a great thumbnail, too. You know it. So perhaps, let's carry on, let's see. Get it situated right where I want it. Okay. Okay, like that. Bring it over a little bit. Now see, we have two same journals yet this one looks even bigger now what's going on here is it this stuff i know these are the same books yeah i'm tripping okay what do you guys think love it i am loving it it's very springy it's making me all excited yay and i know it's still technically winter but i am in texas and i'm telling you i was enjoying the sun today oh my gosh this is so beautiful you guys um so let me know which one you think keep it this color or some of the other colors that i showed you with um the string here till next time you guys have a wonderful morning evening no it's evening here i always have to say that have a wonderful evening a wonderful night or a wonderful morning wherever you are